it's shiny. Oh no, it's a scorpion! A lot of scorpions. No, although actually Sonic Fanatic is funny, you mentioned that if I was playing my PlayStation copy on an emulator, I'd be able to use a controller. Because the emulator would understand it. Because this is the PC version, it has no idea at all what what uh, my Xbox 360 controller is. Is that a different model? I can't tell. I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, to explain to everyone, because it's going to look really weird compared to everything else, I'm using a mod that uh, was supposed to eventually replace all the textures in this game with higher res ones to make the game look much better. Um, the model I'm using is a much, much more refined Lara model. Looks great, uh, I should mention. Um, but the rest of the... It was never finished. So the rest of the game still basically looks mostly the same. There's a few other textures, but... Uh, they basically only did the Lara model and nothing else, but that's okay, because uh, looks great, and I'll, uh, I'll play with it. it. Doesn't really change the gameplay at all. Uh, there's no bugs associated with the uh, mod that I am aware of. It appears to have changed all the gun textures as well. That is not the original shotgun texture. I can promise you that. Oh God! Teleporting scorpion. I think, I think they actually updated all the item textures, because I'm pretty sure it's a different med pack, too. Oh, just an FYI. Oh god, more teleporting scorpions! Oh gosh! Scorpions are not that aggressive. We're that huge. Like, like, seriously, look at that scorpion compared to her. That thing was enormous. When I was little, I never understood what this scene was implying, but I realize now it's actually the sight of the enemies that are approaching you, which is funny, because they always seem to bypass him and uh, come straight for me. Kind of loses its effect. Scorpions! How many bullets does it take to kill a scorpion? I'm pretty sure in real life it would take exactly one. <gasps> oh, this drove me crazy. You can't. Uh, do anything with that hole because it uh, 
of the floor. <gasps> Med pack. Someone just left a med pack on an altar. That's a thing you can do. Whoever did that is weird. Take this item. That is a retextured item as well. They probably retextured all the items. So they wouldn't clash with Lara's uh, model. Despite the environment's clearly clashing with the model. Once got killed by this room because I went ahead of him. Jesus. I think that freaking traps. Oh, there, and I once ran into a glitch where that's, that, that trap went off twice. Uh, which was bullshit for a whole lot of reasons. Up to including the fact that I fucking died for when I shouldn't have, but you know. Yep, these are definitely all updated textures. Mine with the other one. I have Horus. Use. No. What? You mean no? You're right there, sweetheart. Come on now. I'm sure jackals come down there. Yes, they do. There are two. Anyway. you will about the ancient Egyptians. They knew installing handrails for safety was very important. I forgot how he did that when I was young. I realized now there must be oil in the water. Although why he opts to do that, I will never understand. It works, but I don't know why you would do it. Also, how are they breathing? And everything's on fire, but hey, what do I know? Oh yeah, I do go this way. I forget why. There's always a reason I went this way. Uh, beyond the fact that the camera goes crazy, you can see your boobs. Oh, that was not the reason, however. Actually, it might have been when I was younger. Who the fuck remembers? I do. That was the reason. Uh, no, there actually is a legitimate reason why I go through here. Uh, and it's because he gets stuck behind a grate and you have to let him out. I just likes lighting everything on fire because shit really what would we have done if the fire wasn't there also I have no idea how this part how this puzzle works like just from a logic standpoint okay, I hit it good <coughs> you obviously don't know how my lungs feel I could talk better now you're right um, but I am still sick Oh, 
hate when I do that. If you don't, if you press the buttons wrong, it just fucks the whole thing up. You have to restart. And it's not that kind of restart. It's different restart. The, the, the restart button's all the way down here. I don't know why. It's annoying. So I have to run all the way around. Pull the switch. Good thing there's even a restart switch at all, because otherwise you'd be screwed, wouldn't you? Second shotgun, though, because you really need two. Then you can go back and try again. It's just a simple jumping puzzle, but it's actually really annoying uh, because you have to line up everything so pitch perfectly. If not, it doesn't work. Like I just did again. And you gotta be really careful with missing that jump there too, because if you don't run off completely, you will light on fire and there's no way to put yourself out, so you'll be dead. Which is also nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, by the way, I hope you like the overlay. I made this myself. I, I was really excited because I, I finally have a copy of Photoshop again uh, because of Adobe's little Adobe Cloud. Uh, program they have. Now I can use a bunch of Adobe programs for $50 a month, which with my paycheck actually works out pretty well for me. That's nice. Uh, but I made that. I also made a Fire Emblem one because I asked people if they wanted me to play Fire Emblem as well because I'm excited for the new Fire Emblem games coming out. I was hoping to get in the mood. Um, but I also have Rise of Tomb Raider, so I was like, well, you know, I'll ask to see what the guys want me to do. Um, so if you guys ever uh, want me to switch at any point, feel free to let me know. And jumping, and jumping, and jumping, what's wrong with the creative cloud? I think it's fine. Oh uh, yeah, I've been using, I've, I've been using Premiere for the last few videos I've been making. Gotcha. I'll get, I'll get, I'll give you that evil road, and I see why people would, would have an issue with it uh, re regarding the whole renting of the software. But you have to keep in mind that I can't afford to drop 600 bucks on a program at once. I just can't do it, um, especially when it's just one program. You know, it's just for Photoshop, and then I spend 600 bucks for just Premiere. I mean, it's 1,200 dollars, whereas for 50 bucks a month, I get all the Adobe programs. And yes, eventually... Oh, oh, sorry, I mispronounced your name. Oh, yeah, it happens. Oh god, line of scorpions! Shotgun shells. That does not look like an update texture, actually. I'm sorry, Evil Rhoda. I apologize. I didn't mean to.
Wait, you mean you're not a girl? <laughs> now I'm just being a dick. <laughs> save here because the next part of the game as I recall. First of all, this will always take forever to load the PlayStation. It's, it's still jarring to me to, to this day to play it on the PC and see how fast it loads uh, compared to the load times on the PlayStation. Right. I, I never understood what to do here. I didn't realize there was a starfish on the floor that you have to grab. Go figure. You just jump out. I always died there as a kid. It's like, that's where the game ended for me for like a year. I would always be like, I don't know what to do. I'm like seven years old. Uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I gotta time this jump. Those are insta-kills, as you might imagine. Jump. Oh, oh, oh. Smack, smack my fucking head off the wall. Jesus. Oh, uh, this next room's also a bitch, so I always like to save there, too, once I get past the spikes. This... They're, it's... They're blades, so you'd think they'd be insta-killed, but they're not. Uh, as long as you don't let them hit you. In a weird sort of way. Like that, see, that didn't kill me. But this is actually a really annoying, really, really annoying thing to do uh, with the control scheme I'm working with. And see, I fucked up already. Well, the problem is that that's a little bit, it's just, just out of your reach, so it's a pain in the ass. I hate this puzzle. It, it looks really simple when it is, but it's, it's, it's deceptively challenging. And the sound, yeah, there it goes. Sound cut out. There we go. This is actually tied with Fire Emblem as a game I play, so I'm probably going to switch to Fire Emblem eventually. Uh, let me let, uh, let me know if you guys want me to do it sooner rather than later. did a flip just because she could. <laughs> so, uh, if I were Laura, I'd be seriously concerned about the ominous trail of blood suddenly coming out of that casket. That, uh... Uh, which Tomb Raider Game Boy... Uh, uh, well, Game Boy Color game. Uh, there's two of those on the Game Boy Color. And there's one... There's two for the GBA.
go. Fun fact, you can't kill the mummies at all. They will not die. No matter how many times you shoot them. I tried a lot as a kid, trust me, but they won't die. You just can, you, you can only knock them back. So you just have to run away. Uh, I was gonna play the first GBA one. I have Sacred Stones, uh, two copies of it, but I was gonna play the other one because uh, I haven't had much experience with that one. Um, right, I don't come in this room yet. I have to go get two items before I do that room. Oh god! I didn't even know that happened! <laughs> that jackal than I should have. Smash Brothers with the amount of Facebook characters they have now. That's what I read. Add any character to, to Smash Brothers? Um, it's hard just because there's so many. <laughs> Lara Croft, why not? Uh, even though she's only ever been on, an, on a Nintendo platform. Oh, no, 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 no. Game Boy, so uh, four, six times? I don't think there was an Underworld version on a Nintendo platform. No, no, seven if you count the DS version of. Uh, was either anniversary or legend. Don't remember which one. Uh, but mostly has not been on Nintendo at all. <laughs> Definitely not known for being on Nintendo. Is she? I don't know, I never played it. True story, if Cloud can get in, so can Laura. Because... FF7 has never been on Nintendo. Not even remotely. 
at all. So yeah, true story. <coughs> oh shit. Okay, well, didn't kill me. So that's the good news. I don't know if those spikes actually have damage strips assigned to them, but I really am not keen on testing that right now. Oh, sorry, Ari Arcade. Okay, I wasn't looking at the chat. Uh, it's a, it's it's a it's a it's just a mod of Tomb Raider 4 that uh gives her a different model and changes some of the other textures, but not that many, as you can see. For the most part, it's just the same game. Uh, just different textures. So no, it's not a remaster or anything like that. A remaster of Tomb Raider 4 would be really nice, though I doubt that'll ever happen. Man can dream. <sighs> See, uh, no, it's actually a custom model made by the mod maker. Uh, if they had taken the TR Legends model, it wouldn't work since the uh, ratios are completely different. Uh, Tomb Raider 4 is the last revelation. Tomb Raider the last revelation. Tomb Raider 3 was actually the last Tomb Raider to have a number after it. Fun fact of the day. Quick, grab the starfish! Because that's really important, I guess. That's because the first stage of Tomb Raider 3 is fucking bullshit. And it's annoying and confusing and it makes no goddamn sense. I hate that thing. That's like, honestly, the rest of the game is probably way better than that stage. That one stage is so bad that uh, I, I have not played very much uh, past that either. I didn't know you could walk through those uh, as a kid, by the way. Which makes me think that most of the spikes in this room actually don't have any damage strips attached to them. Uh, da -da -da -da. Jump. Okay. Whew. I'm saving because this usually works, but I, I have had it not. Jump. Like that. That sometimes happens. So we're going to load where we just were. There we go, much better. Da -da 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 -da. Let's not fall and just break our bones. Shit, 
Oop. Jump up. Don't let him grab you. Right, I have a uh, starfish. <laughs> Hand of Sirius, otherwise known as a starfish. I forget what it's for. Uh, right, it adds that rope that I can use to then swing across. Uh, there's no cutscene showing it, so when I first used that when I was a kid, I didn't actually realize what had happened. So I um, and my dog is actually throwing a fit. So this ought to be good. So if she starts barking, I gave you fair warning. Okay. No, other way. Swing. And oh god, that was whew, close, but there we go. I've tried randomizer runs before, but they, they usually... Like, once the initial shot of, you know, uh, random factor wears off, it's really not as fun as you think. I found. Okay, oh, God. But I have, I have done it before, it just, uh, I, it, it got old. Once the novelty wore off, which actually, wear, it wears off pretty fast, I found. Uh, yes, this is the Steam version, Kane. And I just jumped... I just ran off that cliff without even looking. Oh, God. Use the Gold Serpent. Use the Scarab Talisman. Considering um, switching to Fire Emblem after this level, I'm almost done with it. So let me know in the chat what you guys think of that. If you guys will stay and watch. If not, I'll stay on this. It doesn't really matter to me. Awesome moment. <laughs> <laughs> 